Okay, so let me ask you about these uh, super intelligent cortical systems that we engineer and us humans. Do you think uh, with these entities operating out there in the world, what, what is the future, most promising future look like? Is it us merging with them? Or is it us, like how do we keep us humans around when yeah. you have increasingly intelligent beings? Is it uh, one of the dreams is to upload our minds in the digital space? Yeah. So can we just give our minds to these uh, systems yeah. so they can operate on them? Yeah. Is there some kind of more interesting merger yeah. or is there more much more So in the third part of my book, I talked about all these scenarios and yes. let me just walk through them. Sure. Um, the uploading the mind one. Yes. Extremely, really difficult to do. Like, like we have no idea how to do this even remotely right now. Um, so it would be a very long way away, but I make the argument you wouldn't like the result. Um, and you wouldn't be pleased with the result. It's really not what you think it's going to be. Um, imagine I could upload your brain into a, into a computer right now, and now the computer's sitting there going, hey, I'm over here. Great. Get rid of that old bio person. I don't need yeah. him. You're still sitting here. Yeah. What are you going to do? No, no, I, that's <laughs> not me. I'm here, right? Yeah. Like, are you going to feel satisfied in that? Then you, you, but people imagine, look, I'm on my deathbed, and I'm about to you know, expire, and I push the button, and now I'm uploaded. But yeah. just think about it a little differently. And, and so I don't think it's going to be a thing because people, by the time we're able to do this, if ever, because you have to replicate the entire body, not just the brain. It's, it's really, it's, I walk through the issues. It's really substantial. Um, do, uh, do you have a sense of what makes us us? Is there, a, if, is there a shortcut to what can only save a certain part that makes us truly uh, ours? No, but I think that machine would feel like it's you too. Right. Right, you have two people. Just like I have a, I have a, I have a child. Right, I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. They're independent people. I created them. Well, yeah. partly. Yeah. And um, uh, I don't just because they're somewhat like me. I don't feel I'm them, and they don't feel like I'm me. So if you split them apart, you have two people. So we can come back to what what makes what consciousness if you want. We can talk yeah. about that. But we don't have a, like remote consciousness. I'm not sitting there going, oh, I'm conscious of that. You know, I'm I'm in that system over there. So let's let's like we let's, let's stay on our topic. Here. Okay, so sure. one was uploading a brain. Yep. Ain't gonna happen in a hundred years, maybe a thousand, but I don't think people are gonna want to do it. The merging your mind with uh you know the neural link thing, right? Yeah. Like again, really, really difficult. It's it's one thing to make progress to control a, pr a prosthetic arm. It's another to have like a billion or several billion, you know, things and understanding what those signals mean. Mm -hmm. Like it's the one thing to like, okay, I can learn to think some patterns to make something happen. It's just quite another thing to have a system, a computer, which actually knows exactly which cells it's talking to and how it's talking to them and interacting in a way like that. Very, very difficult. We're not getting anywhere closer to that. Um, Interesting. Can, can, I, uh, can I ask a question here? Yeah. What, so for me, what makes that merger very difficult practically in the next 10, 20 50 years is like literally the biology side of it, which is like, it's just hard to do that kind of surgery in a, in a safe yeah, way. Yeah. But your intuition is even the machine learning part of it, where the machine has to learn what the heck it's talking to, that's even hard. I think it's even harder. And it's not, it's it's easy to do when you're talking about hundreds of signals. It's it's a totally different thing to say, talking about billions of signals. You so you, you don't think it's the raw, the, it's a machine learning problem. You don't think it could be learned? No, well, I'm just saying, it's no, difficult. I think you'd have to have detailed knowledge. You'd have to know exactly what the types of neurons you're connecting to. I mean, in the brain, there's these th the neurons that do all different types of things. It's not like a neural network. It's a very complex organism mm -hmm. system up here. We talked about the grid cells earlier and the place cells. You know, you have to know what kind of cells you're talking to and what they're doing and how their timing works and all, all this stuff, which you can't today, there's no way of doing that, right? But I think it's, I think it's a, I think the problem, you're right that the biological aspect of it, like who wants to have a surgery and have this stuff, you know, inserted in your brain, that's a problem. But this is when we solve that problem. I think the, the information coding aspect is much worse. I think that's much worse. It's not like what they're doing today. Today, it's simple machine learning stuff because you're doing simple things. Mm -hmm. But if you want to merge your brain, like I'm thinking on the internet, I'm merged my brain with the machine and we're both doing, t I, that's a totally different issue. That's interesting. I, I tend to think if the, okay, yeah. if you have a super clean signal from a bunch of neurons at the start, you don't know what those neurons are. I think that's 
much easier than the getting of the clean signal. Yeah, I think if you think about today's machine learning, that's what you would conclude. Right. I'm thinking about what's going on in the brain and I don't reach that conclusion. So we'll have sure. to see. Sure. But I don't think even, even then, I think there's kind of a sad future. Like, you know, do I, do I have to like plug my brain into a computer? I'm still a biological organism. Mm -hmm. I assume I'm still going to die. So what, what have I achieved? Right. You know, what have I achieved to doing some sort of, Oh, I, I, I disagree. I, that, we don't know what those are, but it seems like there could be a lot of different applications. It's like virtual reality is to expand your brain's capability to, uh, yeah. to, to but like to read is, Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. But, but fine. But, but you're still a biological organism. Yes. Yes. You know, so, you're still, you're still mortal. You're still, all, all right. That, so, all so of those what are you accomplishing? You're making your life in this short period of time better, right? Just like re, uh, having the internet made our life better. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I, I think that's of, of, if I think about all the possible gains we can have here, that's mm -hmm. a marginal one. It's an individual, Hey, I'm better. You know, I'm smarter, um, but you know, fine. I'm not against it. I just don't think it's earth changing. I, uh, but if, so this is the true of the internet. When each of us individuals are smarter, we get a chance to then share our smartness. We get smarter and smarter together as like as a collective. This is kind yeah, of like but, this ant colony of. But that's, why don't I just create an intelligent machine that doesn't have any of this biological nonsense? That has all the same. It, it's it's everything except don't burden it with my brain. Yeah. Right. It has a brain. It is smart. It's like my child, but it's much, much smarter than me. So I have a choice between doing some implant, doing some hybrid, weird, you know, biological thing that's bleeding and all these problems and limited by my brain, or creating a system which is super smart that I can talk to, yeah. um, that helps me understand the world, that can read the internet, you know, read Wikipedia and, and talk to me.